Good evening, viewers. This is your news reader, Peter Marimi. Here are the news headlines from the Machingo Mirror. Chief Murinye stunned senior government officials attending a funeral in Machingo Rural on Monday when he warned President Munangagwa to stop the looting in the country or lose the 2023 elections. We are fed up. Matsuoti in Zimbabwe should stop. Idi Muzuguru Wangu. Ende kana kasa terira shokuranda muta urire. 2023 ayambuki. Parents in Mkoba Gweru, particularly those who don't own properties, are planning to stage demonstrations against the head of Taquirira Primary School, who is allegedly refusing to enroll ECD pupils unless they produce proof of residence. On Monday, December 13, at 11.52 p.m., Happy Jablane Ndaanga, a colossus in the education sector, breathed his last at home in Marble Rain, Harare. He was buried at Glen Forest Cemetery in Harare yesterday. The soft-spoken and reserved Ndanga made it both in the education sector and in public service. Gutu police has taken five years to bring to court Chief Serima, who is accused of assaulting and pointing a gun at a prominent businessman, Naison Vongo, in 2016. ZANU PF councillor for Ward 24 in Gutu, Matthias Takamira Rashai, has threatened to withdraw food and other government aid from mourners who attended the funeral of an MDC activist killed during political violence last month. A 71-year-old man from Tonodza village under Chief Chikwanda in Gutu has been sentenced to 10 years in jail after he raped and took away his 15-year-old granddaughter's virginity. The granddaughter is doing grade five, the mirror has been told. Mashingo city managers, and in particular Chamber Secretary Vitalis Shonai, have come under heavy fire from a councillor for coming to work late. A professional hunter has killed a wounded buffalo that gored a game scout and a fish poacher to death at Mteri Dam Wildlife in Chiredzi on Saturday. The buffalo was tracked and killed by a single bullet from 80 meters by Chris Davis on Tuesday at around 3 p.m. Four people, including a truck driver, died on the spot on Tuesday morning when an Indacrex haulage truck and an Iveco omnibus collided head-on outside Chivo. Mashingo City Council has resolved to hand over data who have no valid payment plans to date collectors. The city's debt structure is as follows. High density debtors, RTG is $105.38 million as of October 2021. And low density debtors, RTG is $348.4 million. The last category includes Rodin and Zimri Park suburbs. 47-year-old Elson Gonye, the head of Pay and Benefits Development and Management Agency, who died of COVID-19-related complications, was buried at Gonye Village under Chief Mourinho in Masingo on Monday. Five officials at Masingo Magistrates Court have tested positive to COVID-19, following tests conducted at the workplace on Thursday. The polymerase chain reaction tests were carried out in court five, and 25 officials were tested. Those who tested positive are now in South Konantai. Parents of a pupil from Mahachi village in Checheche who was run over by a car while playing outside their home, are appealing for money from well wishers to buy medication. 11-year-old Tatenda Butu, who is a pupil at Checheche Primary School, 
sustain serious wounds to his legs and cannot walk. The Movement for Democratic Change, MDCT, which is led by party president Douglas Monzora, has recalled the city of Gweru Mayor, Josia Makombe, over corruption allegations. Makombe was elected under the MDCA. An unknown number of robbers broke into Bybridge Magistrates Court on Saturday, and so far three laptops have been established missing. The officer commanding Bybridge District, Chief Superintendent Tichawo Nanyongo, confirmed the break-in in an interview with two nations. For these and more news in detail, please visit our website on your screens. Pamaswingomira, Tinoa, Lukuwikwa. This is your news reader, Peter Maremi, signing off.